Okay, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing the different properties of a trapezoid. Okay, so before we go into our lesson, um, let me just uh, show to you what a trapezoid is. Okay, uh, based on definition, a trapezoid is just sim is a um, quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So your figure could either be like this. like this one, okay? Long as you will have your parallel side, you are good. So, ano yung para, what is the parallel side here? This would be the parallel side, okay? Even if your figure would be like this, like um, a plateau, yan. Long as you have your parallel side, you one pair of parallel side, then therefore, this is a trapezoid. And again, you might ask, um, sir, is it only applicable if your figure is like this? Your figure could also be um, parallel going up, like this one. Yan. Yan. So, this would be the parallel side. Yan. Okay. So, again, these are your trapezoids. And by definition, again, I'll just repeat, trapezoids are just simply um, a quadrilateral, quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Okay, so there you go. Um, let me just scroll down a little bit. Okay, so now we will be, uh, let me just add a new layer. Okay. Now we will be discussing the different parts of a trapezoid before we proceed to the actual properties. Okay, so in a given trapezoid, say we have this one. Okay, in a given trapezoid, the parts would be firstly the bases. Okay, so in this case, ito. Um, this one in this figure the basis would actually be the part wherein uh, I mean the side that is parallel so this is your base one and this is your base two or we can just call them base okay uh, you can interchange naman okay so after having the basis we will have also our legs legs are just simply the non the non parallel side of your trapezoid legs are the non parallel sides of your trapezoid Okay. The next one we will have our median. Median, another median. Median is just simply the ano, the middle point of your ano of your legs. Okay, median is the middle point of your legs. So let me just write here yan. median. Just a side note, the middle, middle of the legs. Yan. Okay, so yan another median here. Okay, and then of course, ayan, etong midline natin, okay, this midline, midline, is just simply the distance between the medians or the midpoints of the legs, okay? And by definition, this um, midline would be always parallel to the bases, okay? Parallel eh, to the bases. And last part that we will be discussing, we would have our base angles, okay? Base angles could either be on here, this one, or yan, or this one. Yan. They always come in pair, everyone. They always come in pair. Meaning, um, for the base one, you will have one pair of base angles. Yan. And for your base two, you will have one pair of base angles as well. So, this would be again your base angles. Dalawa sila lagi, okay? So, they always come in pair. So, always remember that. Okay? So, this would be some, uh, the parts of our um, trapezoid. Okay? The next thing that we will be discussing would be the only kind of a trapezoid, which is what we call the isosceles trapezoid. Yan. Basic, um, sorry. Uh, a trapezoid, uh, an isosceles trapezoid is just a trapezoid with equal legs okay this is a trapezoid with equal or congruent sorry let's use congruent because we don't know the measurement congruent with congruent legs yan. so if we have this figure for example yan. oops too big let's hide that okay we have this figure yan. This is an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, it's just like an isosceles triangle where in your um, sides are equal. Okay, this is your <coughs> isosceles trapezoid. So again, if this is 6, then therefore this is 6. 
And let's just use the hash marks. Yan. They are congruent. Okay po? So that would be um, the kind of trapezoids na nag-iisa lang, with, which is the isosceles trapezoid. Now let's go to the properties. Okay? The properties of a trapezoid. We will not deal with isosceles muna. We will deal with the trapezoid first. Okay? So let me just write it down here. Properties of a trapezoid. Okay? So the first property and property number one is that the median, the median, midline, let's just let's use midline muna. The midline is parallel to the bases and is half the sum of the bases. Okay? So we have two notions here and we have two claims here. Okay? So first claim is this one. Sabi daw dito is that your midline is parallel to the bases. Of course, I have said this to you guys already. Okay, but this one, half the sum of the bases. Accordingly, in this um, in this property, if you would have, say, um, this uh, trapezoid, yan, just fix my figure, okay, and this trapezoid, okay, and this is your midline, okay. For me to get the measure of the midline, what I need to do is I need to add base 1 and base 2. Base 1, plus base 2 divided by 2 and this is your midline. Okay? Pag kinuha ko daw yung measurement ng midline. Okay? So, let's uh, let's try to prove our claims uh, using GeoGebra. Okay? So, yeah. Let's construct a a trapezoid. Gawa tayo ng trapezoid. So, of course, a trapezoid will have one pair of parallel side. So, let's prove muna na ito ay trapezoid. Okay, this is one pair of parallel side. Let's have another check natin kung parallel ba sila. Okay, definitely not because they will intersect here. So, definitely not a... Ah, uh, this is a trapezoid. Okay, kasi they are not... Um, uh, they only have one set of parallel sides. Okay, let me undo that. Okay, so there you go. We have a trapezoid. Now, ang sabi dito, if you try to find the midline, okay, uh, let me just uh, get the midpoint of this ano, of this uh, figure. Uh, maybe the best way to do this is let me just uh, construct this one accordingly. Ayan. Um, extend, I guess. Okay, there you go. Ayan. Still our same trapezoid. Let's get, this would be the midpoint. Ayan, ito yung midpoint. And then this is also the midpoint of this leg. Okay, these are the two legs. And I will get the midline. Okay, this one. Okay, ang sabi daw dyan, again, is that the midline is half the measurement of the sum of the bases. So, let's try to add. We have DC is 7 and AB is 13. To get the midline daw, daw is we need to add them. 7 plus 13, the answer is 20. So, let's solve it here. In our figure, ah, in our figure, this is 7 and this is 20, uh, 13. So, if we add 7 plus 13 and divide it by 2, the answer here would be 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. So, supposed to be the midline in our figure must be 10. And we are not sure. So, let's try to check. Let's get the measurement of our midline here. Okay, so definitely it's 10. So therefore, this proves our claim that if we have our um, trapezoid, the midline is always half the measure of the sum of the bases. So let's try to ano, to change the figure a little bit. Yeah, let's change the figure a little bit. Say we have this one. This is still a trapezoid, okay? So let's try to add. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Good, tama pa rin. Next, we have... 7 plus 12, the answer is 18, ano uh, no, no, 19, and 19 divided by 2 is 9.5, good, tama pa rin. So, whatever your figure is, long as it's a trapezoid, it will always have that same property. Okay po, same property lang yan. Which is what? 
that the midline is half the sum of your base and uh, base bases. Okay, so the next one we will be discussing would be for isosceles trapezoids now. Okay, again, this is for isosceles trapezoids. Isosceles trapezoids. Okay, so given that the isosceles trapezoid is a kind of trapezoid, meaning this only property, the one property of our trapezoid is also applicable to it. Okay, so let's now proceed to our property number one for our isosceles trapezoid and according to property number one is that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent so let's write that down the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent so let's write it like this ano? congruent so, uh, based on our claim, let's try to look at our given in GeoGebra na agad. Okay? Let's try, let's try to create a, an isosceles trapezoid here. Let me select everything and let's create a figure. Um, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here. Okay. And yeah, this is an isosceles trapezoid uh, based on construction because the measure of the legs are the same. Yeah. The same yung measure ng legs niya. Okay? So again, this is an isosceles trapezoid. And again, based on our um, property number one is that supposed to be that the base angles are congruent. And remember guys, the base angles are supposed to be yeah, this one. Okay. Again, we have two sets of base angles. Okay? Two sets of base angles. Okay, let's try to look at the given. You will notice that this on the bottom part, base 2, the base angle is 45 and 45. So, therefore, again, it's congruent. And again, on this um, top side naman, on the base 1, the base angles on base 1 is just simply 135 and 135. So, then again, proving our point that the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are always congruent. So, let's try to change the figure up a little bit. Okay? Make sure na sila ay isosceles pa rin. Bakit? Ayun yung property natin eh. This is for isosceles trapezoids. Okay? So, yan. Make sure lang natin na magiging same pa rin. 5.83 or kapag minove natin dito, dapat same pa rin siya. Ayan. 3.6 Here. Ayan. 3.16 and another 3.16. Check po natin ang ating mga base angles. 108, same 108. 71, same 71. So, proves our point. Kahit anong maging itsura, whatever is the look of your um, isosceles trapezoid, the base angles would be always congruent. Okay po? And baka sabihin nyo, sir, ito base angle tong dalawa. No, they are not a pair. The pair would be always on the side of the base. Okay, so let's proceed to property number 2. Property 2. Okay, according to property number 2 is that the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Dapat daw congruent sila or they are the same. So, let's take a look at our given. Let's uh, mold it a little bit to our liking. Make sure first na isosceles yan. Ayan, isosceles siya because 6.4 and 6.4. It is said there that the diagonals must be congruent. Ayan. So, let's try to measure the diagonals. Okay? So, the first diagonal, BD, is 10.3. The second diagonal is CA, that is 10.3 as well. So, if they are the same, definitely proves our point that our diagonals are congruent. Again, um, I did told you guys that proving by example is punishable by death, sabi ng prof ko noon. So, but in any case, this is uh, one way of you to easily understand without proving the different properties of our trapezoid, okay? So, even if you move this around, long as you will still have your isosceles trapezoid, you will notice that they would be the same always. The diagonals. Okay po? 
so that would be all I think for the properties of a trapezoid so we have three properties all in all we have property one which is general for all trap all trapezoids which is um, the midline is half the sum of the bases and it's always parallel to the bases okay and lastly for our isosceles trapezoid two properties the base angles are congruent and also the diagonals this is for isosceles trapezoid so that would be all everyone if you would have any other questions regarding our lesson for today you can view the video again or chat me in our group uh, thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh